explore what a differential is and how various differential designs operate. When a vehicle is turning, each of its wheels travels along a different path. Because each path is a different length, each wheel has to have the ability to rotate at a different speed. In order to allow the wheels to turn at different speeds, a differential is used. Power is supplied from the engine via the transmission to a drive shaft, which connects to the differential. A pinion gear is attached to the end of the drive shaft. This turns the ring gear. The ring gear surrounds a set of differential gears that enable the two rear axles to turn at different speeds. When the vehicle is traveling straight, the left and right axles turn at the same speed. When the vehicle is turning, the difference in rotating speed between the two axles is compensated for by the differential gears. Notice that the pinion gear turns at a different speed than the ring gear. The ratio between these two gears is called the axle ratio. In this example, the ring gear turns one time for every four revolutions of the pinion gear. This axle would be said to have a four to one ratio. By changing the axle ratio, the torque multiplication and top speed is changed, either increasing or decreasing them. Axle ratio is an important component of the transmission gear ratio. All the gear ratios between the engine and drive wheels determine how much power is actually applied to the wheels. This is why some vehicles, like trucks, will have different axle ratios available. The vehicle can be optimized for either heavy hauling and towing or normal driving and highway cruising, but not typically both. You may also hear this described as final drive ratio. This example is known as an open differential. Open differentials are inexpensive, lightweight, and require little maintenance. However, the major disadvantage of an open differential is that the engine's power follows the path of least resistance. This means that, in cases where one wheel has less traction than the other wheel, the engine's power will go to the wheel with the least traction. A way to limit this loss of traction is to limit the amount of independence between the two axles. This can be accomplished via a number of mechanical, electronic, or hydraulic systems which are known as limited slip differentials, or LSDs. The benefit of a limited slip differential is that the amount of power sent to the wheel with the least traction is limited so that the wheel with the most traction receives continuous power in order to get the vehicle moving. The disadvantage of a limited slip differential is the amount of power that can be transmitted to the wheel with traction is also limited. The next type of differential is known as a locking differential. Locking differentials have mechanisms that can literally lock the two rear axles together when needed. With a locking differential, both axles receive equal power so that the wheel with the most traction will always have power. Locking differentials are often used for heavy-duty off-road or other low traction situations. The disadvantage is that they have to be unlocked to allow differential wheel speeds during turning. If the axles are locked during turning, handling is negatively affected. An alternative to differential-based LSDs and locking differentials are brake-activated LSDs such as Toyota's Auto LSD system. Brake-activated LSDs use an open differential but selectively apply the brakes to the wheel with the least traction. This takes advantage of the path of least resistance to transfer power to the wheel that isn't having the brake applied. The auto LSD system is designed primarily to improve traction at times when the vehicle is likely to get stuck. The system's electronic control gives it better torque transferring abilities than other types of differentials. Other benefits of these systems are that they require fewer parts and are less complex than mechanical systems. This reduces maintenance and weight.